A wild ass and a lion entered into an alliance so that they might capture the beast of the forest with greater ease. The lion agreed to assist the wild ass with his strength, while the wild ass gave the lion the benefit of his greater speed. When they had taken as many beasts as their, nece as, as their necessities required, the lion undertook to distribute the prey. And for this purpose, divided it into three shares. I will take the first share, he said, because I am king. And the second share is a partner with you in the chase. And the third share, believe me, will be a source of great evil to you unless you willingly resign it to me and set off as fast as you can. Might makes right. This is the Aesop Fables brought to you by Brother Hatim. You are listening to Folk Tales for Grown Folks on Giami Journey Radio. Brought to you by A Heart of a Lion Production. Striving to blow up old paradigm. Now, man, as I say every morning, these folk tales are not just for kids. Listen, these fables, listen. We've got to become simple, literally. Listen, we have a lion and an ass. First off, first off, it's a fable. So they get, they get some creative uh, space. They get some creative uh, slides, but the first thing I wanted, I, I have to point out is that a lion and an ass, or those that have sensitive ears, a donkey have different dietary needs first off. My first question when I start reading is why would the ass work with the lion in the first place? That's the, but that's neither here nor there, alright? But that's the first question I have. So, he goes in with somebody who is stronger than him, more lethal than him, and more violent than himself. And at the end of the process, and it's time to split up the, the, the spoils, the lion's true nature, if it ever was hidden, comes out. Because the, 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 the ass had to recognize at how violent this individual was by how it killed the prey that they was hunting together. You know what I'm saying? When you're in a crazy world, when you're in a crazy world, you have to understand the rules of the world. For the ass, the ass obviously did not understand the rules of the world that he was dealing in. He was helping... The king of predators, at least where lions are, because we know there's animals that will whoop a lion, but he was helping the king of beast capture prey. And he honestly thought that he was going to be dealt with in a fair manner when he had nothing, absolutely nothing, but the lion's word. And, and even deeper, when you look at this, they only agreed to help each other catch food. They didn't agree at the beginning on how they were going to distribute it. So as far as the lion was concerned, he did the ass a favor by letting the, letting the ass escape with his life. Now, until I started reading Aesop Fables, I could never understand why people would call people ass. I used to think it was for the body part. But now I'm really understanding the more I run into these asses as I'm reading Asa Fable why people were called asses. You know what I'm saying? Because an ass clearly does not think things through. You know what I'm saying? And many of us are living ass-like existence. We don't think things through. We don't follow we don't follow the path. We don't look at the history of things to really understand who and what we're dealing with. So we always get taken advantage of. 
listen, listen. I don't, I don't necessarily want you to listen to this and become a lion, become a king of beasts, because I want you to listen to a king of beasts necessarily, but I don't want you to be an ass either. All right? So, listen, go get, get some of these fables and, and, and go over the whole, all the chapters where he talks about the ass. And truly get an understanding that when somebody is called an ass or a jackass, understand where that comes from. You have not thought this whole partnership through. You have not thought your life through. You have not thought um, the action that you are about to take through. You have not thought the purchase, the, the purchase that you are about to make through. You have not thought this relationship through. You, just like the ass, is going on what feels good right now. Oh, it feels safe. Oh, the lion needs help catching because the lion couldn't catch everything. So he needed the speed of the ass. But when it came time to distribute everything, guess what? He was ass out. That was good. That was, that was oh, wait, 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 wait. When it came to distributing the goods, he was ass out. And that was good. That was good. So don't be an ass. This is Brother Hot Tim coming at you live from Gianni Journey Radio. A Heart of a Symbol production. And we blowing up those old paradigms and those old ways that's holding us back. Yo, this is Quasi Low in the Cap City, and you are listening to Giame Journey. This is Brother Asaru, and you now listen to Giame Journey Radio. Peace. This is Brother Tim, and I'm out. Y'all have a great day, and I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are.